Hey everyone, Jamie here from Fellow. We're gonna go through a quick recap of everything that we talked about during our Fellow Plus AI live event. First thing I wanted to highlight is our brand new feature that we are testing out right now, our fellow meeting assistant. You can see over on the right-hand side screen that I actually have my meeting assistant joining me right now. And at the end of this call, we're gonna go through everything that my AI meeting assistant is doing for me in the background to help save me time and make things really efficient down the road. But without further ado, we're gonna move on to a feature that we can test out right now with the AI generated agenda. So what I can do now is I can pop over here into my other event, my in-person planning event. And what we're gonna be able to do here is we're now going to be able to utilize our AI generated agenda. So what I'm gonna go ahead is I'm gonna press this button, start the AI magic and let it start building out my agenda. What it's doing here is building out different headers based on the event description and who is in attendance of this meeting. So you can see here it suggested the planning, venue, timeline, and logistics planning, all as different headers here. So what I can do is go in and add planning, but maybe I wanna make it planning and activities. So now it's also gonna generate new talking points based on the updated header here. And I'm now gonna be able to look at the suggested talking points and add those directly in to my note here. So maybe we want to review the past winter activities. Let's add that in as a talking point. Let's also go and look at discussion on budget, maybe not super useful. So maybe none of these are doing great. So what I can do is I can reload the talking points to add more things in here. So what we're really trying to do here is really save you time on planning out your agenda and really pull in those talking points to help you guys. Next, maybe we wanna also include the venue. So again, we can look at those suggested talking points, best locations, all of those. But let's say we're now done planning our agenda and now people can just add to it. We're gonna go ahead and press done. And now your agenda with your template is ready and other team members are ready to collaborate here with you. That is going to be the agenda building. You can really drive that as far as you want. You can also always revisit it. So if you are wanting to use the AI generated agenda to see what the AI will come up with, you can always come to this three dot kebab and use AI generated agenda and it'll pop this up. So even on old meetings that have been in fellow for a really long time, you can go ahead and pull this in and see what the AI will create for you. The other AI feature I wanted to highlight here is that we also have the AI generated suggested topics. So what you can do over here, much like kind of with our suggested topics within your one-on-ones that have been available for a while, you can pop over here and use generate topics. So this is gonna generate different talking points based on, again, the event description, who's in attendance, and any of those previous meetings, especially if this is a recurring meeting. And then what you can do is go and brainstorm possible locations for this. So you can take these suggested topics and add those directly into your agenda. Again, really helping you make sure that you're not missing anything that should be covered in this meeting. The next feature that I wanted to talk about that was covered during our fellow AI event is the new ability to filter your events. So you can now come into your calendar up in the top right hand corner within fellow and filter out events that you no longer want to see shown. So you've always been able to filter out your canceled or your hidden meetings, but you can now also filter out personal meetings. So meetings where you're maybe the only one on the, the attendee list, for example, maybe you have an appointment you're the only one there. It's going to filter those out. You can also filter meetings out by keywords now as well. So maybe you want to filter out all meetings where it uses the word lunch. So you'll really be able to help streamline what you're seeing directly in Fellow based on your filtering preferences. Next, for all of those Microsoft users, we have also introduced our Microsoft to-do integration. So what this is gonna do is take your action items from Fellow and bring them directly into Microsoft to-do where you're working on all of your actions and stuff. So really great seamless integration. You can go and get that under the user settings. Another feature that we are working on building and rolling out to Teams is our meetings guideline feature. Meeting guidelines are really great. A lot of teams have them recorded in a wiki. These are things like not scheduling a meeting with less than four hours notice, requiring breaks in between meetings. So shortening meetings by five minutes so that people have breaks between them, especially people with back-to-back -back calendars or meetings with more than eight attendees, making some of those people optional. 
all of these are really great things, but it's really hard to enforce them. And so Fellow has been building out a feature that is going to allow you to see this in real time. So now if I go and I schedule an event here for six o'clock today, I'm automatically gonna start to see th this in action. So you can already see here, I've got some tool tips. So find another time for this meeting. We must book our meetings with more than four hours notice. And a big reason for this is I don't have time to prepare for my meetings if I'm not getting those notice. Also the make it speedy button, it's gonna shorten my meeting by five minutes automatically. So really great ways to bring those meeting guidelines directly into your meeting planning and making sure that your meetings are efficient and saving time before they're even getting scheduled. So definitely come check out the meeting guidelines further in depth in our help center. And last but not least, let's hop back over to our fellow AI meeting assistant. So what we can see here, our meeting assistant has been joining us, listening into our call. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. So this meeting recording transcript and timestamps up to this point will be saved. And because the summary and everything will only happen once the meeting ends, I'm going to go ahead and end my meeting. We're going to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. You know, we'll run through the feedback. There we go. Send that feedback. And we can see here that my meeting assistant is generating my meeting summary. So in the background, my meeting assistant has been listening to everything we've talked about, pulling out the key things that we've discussed, and it is generating my meeting summary. And there we go. We now have a meeting summary going over the highlights of this meeting. So Jamie is showcasing various new features that we talked about, the Microsoft to do, the filtering, the ASA I suggested. So everything we've kind of talked about in here is going to be in our meeting summary. We're also gonna get a recording of this call automatically associated with Fellow. So it's gonna make sure that everything is living together. We've got my meeting recording, we've got the transcript of everything we've talked about, as well as the meeting summary. This is gonna be a really great way to ensure that people who are either marked as optional, they're on vacation, all of these things, have a quick way to cross-reference what was recorded. And then this way, if anything is missed, that was a key decision and wasn't written down in your note, you have another way to cross-reference and review this. There's also great ways you're going to be able to share this out with your team. So copy the call transcript, send it over. You can also download it. And thank you everyone for listening in. I hope you guys all enjoyed the recap today and feel free to chat in with our intercom team. Our support team is wonderful. They're happy to dive into any of these features. Most of these features are not live yet. So if you are interested in them, please join our AI waitlist and we will reach out to you when these features are available to be tested or beta tested or to be launched. I hope you guys all have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.